obviously got the 350 factory, this is 2025, excuse me, factory um, uh, 350 XCF, uh, one of our most popular bikes and for good reason. This is kind of, if you're a four-stroke guy, this is a do-it-all motorcycle. Um, it has some great fits on it, as you can tell, and anyone who's been following this bike since 2023, this is an absolute monster. They've put so much power into this bike, it is more powerful than the old 450s were. Um, as with most of the four strokes, especially in the XCF range, you are getting two engine maps, you're getting traction control, you're getting quick shift on there as well. Nice. Um, so, so lots of light. While you're up there, you see that you've got the softer gray grips on there. Um, it does come with a gut seat very much similar to the, only the second bike I've seen this on. Obviously the, the 300 XCW factory has a gut seat on it. So it's nice to see these starting to show up on the KTMs. They've shown up a few times on uh, primarily the Rockstar uh, Huskies. Um, as we kind of take a look at what comes on this bike, I mean, really, really oh. big deal on this pipe. So Man, um, this is in uh, roughly $850 pipe. Um, it is spark arrested, which is nice also so that you're not swapping exhaust right out, out of the gate. Um, my only wish is that it came with a equally uh, nice titanium mm. header pipe. Um, so what's going to happen is this pipe will blue and pink and purple all the way right to there. So for yeah. those of you watching, please spend the money on the, uh, the header pipe as well so you can <laughs> have that A matching pipe. beautiful pipe, right? Absolutely. Um, anyway, but we, we stopped, started the back here and the second bike that I saw, because obviously I saw the factories first, um, the second bike that has the, uh, the new AT82s on there, uh, the Dunlop Geomaxes, you are running a DID Dirt Star here with anodized uh, hubs and nipples, gal for solid disc on this one. Um, interestingly enough, this bike does not come with a disc guard, I, uh, like some of the two-stroke cousins on there. Um, but, uh, but obviously we've got those here. As we move forward, orange frame, of course, um, you're going to have the upgraded frame guards on here. The Henson cover, which is, uh, is nice, so that thing can really take a hit um, as we uh, go up. You do have the factory skid on there that comes with the base model as well. Red Bull graphics, of course, throughout, uh, which make it pretty nice. Um, this bike does come with a whole shot device um, that you can see right up here. Um, so. Great hair scramble bike, mm -hmm. uh, cross country bike that we've got here. What's really interesting here is we've got the electronic unit here that you can change en engine mapping from your phone. Sure. Um, this is a this is a unit that we've used with a lot of our customers before. Really adds a neat dimension to customize your ride mm -hmm. uh, on your bike here. So that was always an option, or it came on the factory SXF 450. I think the 250 came with it as well. Um, but now it's the first time I've seen it on a cross country bike was with the 25 factory. Um, so nice to see that they've added that. Um, probably one of the things that I'm most excited about on this bike is these triple mm -hmm. clamps. I, I just don't know why we're not seeing these on every bike. You get such precise clamping with this two-finger design on here um, with these factory triple clamps. They are just jewelry. Mm. Um, I had them on a gas gas uh, that I had built a few years ago, and man, you can't, if I can tell a difference, everyone can tell a difference. Uh, oh, that's for sure. I sure wish they were on the 300 XCW yeah, factory. Yeah, they're, that's they're so. spectacular. Um, you do have the, the front disc guard on there as well, the rotor guard with that protection over that front caliper. Uh, nice to see. Um, this is running that closed cartridge fork that we mm -hmm. see on uh, on most models now, so that we, we like a great deal. Um, as we move around, uh, just obviously graphics on this side. Not a whole lot that's different from stock on this side of the bike. You are getting a, an anodized sprocket. You're not going to get a, a two-piece super sprocks on this one, but you do get an orange anodized sprocket on this as well. Um, it looks like a bigger sprocket on that, like a 50 tooth or something, or 48 or... Uh, I believe it's 49. Let me see. Now you're gonna you got to edit this out. Oh, it is 50. Excuse me. Yeah, you're running a 1350 on here, um, and so uh, uh, gosh, I think that's about it, Brian. I'm sorry, now I'm stuttering for the. I no. <laughs> don't do this more shooting stuff. <laughs> um, but I think I think at this point uh, those are the highlights. Oh. Um, fantastic bike. Like I said, the 350. Boy, you, you put a couple more bits on this thing. Yeah. It is just a go-anywhere bike, especially for out west. I'm mm -hmm. um, still good on the tight trails around here as well, yeah. but, uh, but just a fantastic open country bike. Super duper cool bike, man. I love the color schemes that they've got going on. This is all embedded. That is really, really good looking bike, man. Well, Lee thinks we've got a 2025 factory edition XCF 350. Thanks for watching, guys.